Hi everybody, it's the Intuitive Healer and today I'll be doing a reading for the sign of Capricorn. So let's go ahead and tune your energy Capricorn. For those of you stopping by for the very first time, welcome to the channel. And for those of you already part of the Intuitive Healer Tarot family, well, welcome back, my lovelies. I just wanted to say to you guys that I have a really short open window here for personal reading. So if you'd like to book a reading with me, all my information is down there in that description box below. Also, um, I wanted to talk to you about this power card. Now, let's get into this really quick. I'm going to create an opening also want to say that the power card oops my stuff is dropping the power card says what can I do to embrace my power and I think kind of at this time you are in this place Capricorn of planning things diligently when it comes to career I think that you are gaining your power back I am seeing a lot of you guys out there that had one of those bosses that were really really hard to deal with and I think because of that, um, you know, you are gaining your power back. Maybe you left that job. Maybe you said, you know what, I'm more valuable than that. And I think that I'm going to be done with the situation. I'm going to move on to something better. And so gaining your power back is a positive thing. I also am sensing some of you Capricorns that have been giving your power to a relationship, maybe spoiling somebody that really didn't deserve to be spoiled. And now you're starting to realize like, oh, I gave all my power to this person and they controlled me in some way. Now it's you taking that power back and you being in a higher vibrational space, you know, and going within and listening deeply to your higher guidance. I think that at this time, you know, there is this space of, you know, really refocusing, redirecting when we're in a retrograde um, energy. I think that, you know, it's time for us to redo the past and, and bring back our confidence, bring back our power so that we can listen deeply to that higher guidance and not be scared. Now, should you leave the toxic job? Oh yeah, the yes card comes out. Yeah, if it's not serving you and you're going to your job every day and you're like, I don't like this job. I'm just here for the money. The angels are coming in there giving you strength and guidance to get your way or get yourself out of the way of that job so that you can start moving towards something that's more in your highest best. Now, it's really scary sometimes when we walk away from one thing and move into another thing. But I think that there is this new opportunity uh, for a new job to come in because you do have this courage and bravery to jump with both feet and don't be scared. Okay? Sometimes we get scared when we're vulnerable. We do. But in that vulnerability is where all the growth and freedom reside. So don't be scared, Capricorn. You got some angelic protection here with Archangel Michael's protecting you along the way. Okay? Don't be scared. So I think it's it's good for us to also, you know, understand that we're having downloads. We're having this resurfacing of the brain happening with this intuition and these downloads. And that's where you're finding how to embrace the power within. You know, should you stay in the job? No, it's, it's time for you to get out of there. It's time for you to let go and surrender because there's some better blessings on its way. But you got to be able to see that for that opening to be created, Capricorn, just saying. We got some inner child healing and maybe there was some toxicity in a past relationship where you gave your power away and now it looks the same as you giving your power away in this job. So heal that inner child, let go of the trauma and look it straight in the face and say, hey, I'm ready to heal. Okay, so really good. Let's get into some other cards here. Ascended Masters, Angels, and Guides, please clarify some messages, please and thank you. 
thank you angels for showing your presence today and guiding me to the highest and best messages for our sign of Capricorn please and thank you all right we have a lot of cards coming out so I think right now you're just trying to deal with things within your family you know maybe this person from the past or this toxic person that you released a long time ago affected your family and now you're kind of getting things back into balance the Holy Spirit's coming in and saving the day now you can start imagining more for your family you know maybe there's this job offer that's gonna provide you with a lot more abundance than you thought was possible and I'm gonna say oh yeah because you know <laughs> our bravado card came out here and it's time to win the warrior guides come in and say hey it's your time it's your time to get everything you want I think you've been in this fight or flight survival mode and I think that right now you're understanding that the people that what you were dealing with were like sharks maybe you guys were in a business endeavor with somebody and they were taking all the profits and leaving you with nothing or making you pay all the bills and they were taking the profits but somehow some way that survival card comes up and shows us that you know there was a lot of judgment happening in that situation maybe they were blaming you for everything so again taking your power back from the situation now the gifts that you want are going to soon arrive because we have our joy guides coming in to assist you at this time it's time for you to shine. It's time for you to have what you want. It's time for you to get your power back. Time for you to rest, get out of that ugly space from the past and start really re re redirecting and refocusing yourself in the best possible way, Capricorn. So, you know, take that time to have some introspection. There's a new beginning about to happen here for you and I think that once you get into a new career situation, it's going to feel way more pleasurable. Um, you're not going to be fighting yourself to go to that job every single day. And I think that they're financially going to support you in the way that you need to. And they're going to understand that you have a lot of intellect and a lot of knowledge when it comes to business. And so they're going to give you a little bit of power in their business. All right. So really beautiful energy again that comes in. <clears throat> and illuminates the situation now let's get into some other cards and clarify those cards all right ascended masters angels and guides more clarity please please and thank you all right so we do have a couple cards that come out here and the first one is all about you trusting trusting that the universe is going to give you your power back and that at some point you're going to realize hey I was being taken advantage of and now I need to trust the universe because the universe is bringing me what my heart's desires are now. Now they can't come in unless you believe and then you're able to receive and succeed. Crown Chakra gives us all of the knowledge in our mind to, you know, take in a lot of I would say business antics that are going to prove to be very successful in the long run. That job is going to give you that leadership place that you've been really, really <clears throat> wanting. Excuse me. Opportunity beckons. That new opportunity is right there. Don't be scared to take it. It might look different from something in the past, but sometimes that new change, that new opportunity brings unexpected miracles. So I think that that's positive for you. Let's pull some more cards here. And, you know, I think that it's time for you to move on from the past, past relationships, past partnerships in business and, you know, whatever job, like I said, was, was pulling you down. You got to leave that job. There's new opportunities coming. And I think that it's good right now that you be in observation mode. Don't react emotionally. Just hold back those emotions and observe and be neutral. Simply love yourself so that you can love the situation, so you can transmute that energy. And it'll bring you into a place of flow, okay? But understand that when change happens, it becomes a little challenging. You know, you stir the pot, things come up to the surface to be dealt with. 
So gaining your power back is really strengthening your bond with yourself and others. There's this new vitality around you that is expressing, you know, this magnificence that I think that you never saw in yourself before. And that's when you get into that energy of confidence where you can gain your power back. I think that you've been daydreaming about what your life could possibly look like not in that old job and daydreaming and making decisions that are based on your highest best and your most highest heart desire. So I think that that's a positive. All right, let's get into love here because we have some love coming in and I do, you know, sometimes when I get into these readings, I get really sweaty and I'm like, uh-oh, we got some love coming in. So cross watchers, whoever's tuning in, male or female, know that this is a non-gender reading and, you know, take the juicy nuggets as you need and leave the rest that you don't. All right, here we go. A little validation here. It says you instinctively know what is right for you and you have the power to say no or to walk away at any time. Now, if you could do anything, what would it be? Your ans the answer dwells in your heart, not in your mind. For the heart is the gateway to the soul. And, you know, I think that once you look deep within your heart, you'll, it says, you'll feel my love. My deep, or my love for you is as deep as the ocean. And deep in your heart, you already know the answers. Do what feels right. Yeah, so feel it out. You know, if you're touching your gut and you're like, oh, I got a bad feeling about this, don't do it. You know, or don't release something that doesn't feel good if you're asking your body those questions Shall I release this? Shall I keep going? You know, our body is a truth teller and it, it won't lie to us, but the monkey mind will. So always know that. Be open to the possibility of a new beginning. A new adventure awaits you. Embrace it and live your dreams passionately. Last card. Give thanks for the blessings of love soon to come your way. Know that you deserve to be and have all that your heart truly desires. And I'm going to second that, Capricorn. All right, you guys. If you want to get into more of a personalized reading with me, all my information is down there in that description box below on how to do that. And make sure before you leave to like, share it and subscribe to the channel. Make sure you hit the notification bell and the red subscription button so you'll be notified when my new videos do come up. And as always, I am here to support you and your highest best, so check out my playlist and check out my sound healing collaborations and partner channels, all right? Love you, Capricorn. You're gonna make the right decision, but it's time for you to embrace your power and to be happy again and to take your power back. I love you, Capricorn. Namaste.